Recently, I did a video where I reviewed the Peter Thomas Roth primer that everybody is talking about. I know there have been a lot of mixed reviews, so I gave my thoughts on why there may be mixed reviews, why it seems to work for some and not for others. And a lot of people ask, can you show us how you apply it and show us before and after? I was just talking about some products I had purchased, that being one of them. So today I am showing you how I apply it, applying my makeup immediately after, and then I'm gonna do a part two later on in the day after wearing it five or six hours to see, okay, how does it wear? What does it look like now? So here's part one of the application and the before and immediate after. So this is the area I'm really focused on because it's where I've got some scarring as well as lines. I had put my skincare on about 45 minutes to an hour prior. And that's really key because you have to put this product on really dry skin. So make sure that you've done your skincare routine for the morning 30 minutes to an hour prior, I would say. And then I put a very, very, very small amount on, rub it in very gently, and then also kind of pat it in. I like to do that to make sure that it really absorbs into the skin. Then you have to let that dry at least three to seven minutes before applying makeup. And here's the immediate results. After waiting the full seven minutes, I begin to apply all of my makeup as normal. First, my foundation, and now my eyeshadow primer. Now I'm color correcting underneath my eyes. And after that, I'll add just a touch of concealer. Color correcting has been a game changer for me. Look at the difference. And now my Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. Love this stuff. I also add just a touch underneath the bottom of my lip to make it look fuller. Here's another trick I recently learned to make it easier to apply lip liner. Squeeze it together to create a sharp edge to draw with. Then I like to fill in just the bottom center with the lip liner as well. It helps add to the illusion of a bigger lip. And then I add some lightly tinted lip gloss. An e.l.f. pink shadow stick. I also use the pink shadow stick in the inner corners of my eyes to help make them look bigger. My Prime Lash Mascara, that's a new favorite of mine. Just started using that recently. I like to brush across the top to kind of deposit the mascara and then start brushing through. Another hack I have is taking the tip of the mascara wand and brushing up from the waterline that actually tight lines as well as brushing through more of the mascara. Because I have so many problems with bottom lashes smudging, I've started taking an eyebrow pencil, tapping it into my mascara and then lightly feathering through it. So that they have at least some color and a little definition, I find that this causes a lot less smudging for me. And then finally, I take a nude whitish or off-white pencil and line the inner part of my bottom waterline. It really helps to make my eyes pop. Now I've put on all of my makeup over the Peter Thomas Roth primer and I'm going to show you what it looks like now. I don't have any flaking or pilling and the blurring effect, especially in that area I'm highlighting, still looks really good. But I just put it on. So I'm gonna wear this all day, and then later I'm gonna do a part two showing what it looks like after wearing it for five or six hours. 